Have you ever been in a sales call and you look at the clock and you notice the time just keeps clicking on and on and on and you're stuck wondering like, man, is this sales call going on for too long and you're going to miss your next meeting? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down exactly the sales call time breakdown that you should use. Stay tuned. Happy Tuesday, Sales the Center. What's happening? Sean here. Hope you are doing well. Had a great weekend, and I am back for another high ticket tune up. Got a great question today. Let's just jump right into it. Today's question came from Brady. Brady asks this He said, Sean, how do I know if my sales call is going on? on for too long and i get this question from time to time and one of the things that i can share with you is that time is relative relative based on you fact finding and discovering the things that you need to get so in this video i'm going to walk through a couple of different things to think about right so when you have a selling system now i'm hoping that you have some sort of a selling system in your world if you don't come talk to me we teach one there's a couple of them out there that are pretty effective so when it comes to the call time breakdown, what I do is I look at the framework of my sales model and then I compare the time that it should take in order for me to extrapolate the data that I actually need. And here's what I mean. As we move forward into a call breakdown, here is uh, the full breakdown of what a call should be. So I'm gonna walk through each of these so you have an understanding of just a little bit of each of these first. So the, this is our seven step sales process that we offer. And this is something that um, I spent lots and lots of money to put together. And here's how it works, right? There's seven steps. The first one, it starts with bonding and connecting. And that should be the first five minutes of the call. It should not go on for more than five minutes. So if you're in a sales call and you look at your watch and you have it, like maybe a little timer next to your desk or something, or you're looking at the clock on your monitor, look at that timer. Set yourself a five minute bonding and connecting uh, time frame for you to get into the conversation and then understand that you have to move it forward. And so what's important about that is what do we do? How do we do that, Sean? Well, typically I would go in and I would ask some easy getting getting started questions that's open ended and get them to talk a little bit. I'd have them say one or two sentences and I'd understand the personality or the main personality traits that they, they have, whether it's a DIS or C. So I use the extended disk filter for myself and then that's all I'm doing. So like I'm going into the conversation, I'm asking them. Uh, a open end question about the weather, where they're from, how they live, anything like that. So I can understand their speech patterns. And I, I listen for a first couple of sentences and they say, okay, great. Now I understand that you're a dominant D person or a dominant I person or a dominant SC person or a dominant C person. And then I'll know how to transform myself in order to speak with them. Once I understand the connection in terms of personality, then rapport is on me to hold it through the remainder of the call. So the first five minutes is just getting them to talk just a little bit to understand hey, okay, this person has this personality type. That's the only thing that I really focus on in my first part of the call. Then I move into a quick rules of the game. This is an analogy that we came up with. It stands for grateful, ask me, and end. And it's just setting the agenda for the call. So, hey, I'm grateful to, uh, to be here with you today. I'm going to ask you a few questions. I'm sure you have some questions for me. And then at the end, one of two things is going to happen. We're going to decide we're, we're a great fit to work together and we'll take the next steps or we're not going to decide we're a good fit to work together and I'm going to give you the name of somebody that I know that can help you out. And that's as quick and as simple as it should be. And then we move into the bulk of the call. This is so important. 20 minutes here. We're going to spend the majority of our call understanding the problem that they have if they have a problem. Like if they don't have a problem, guess what? Stop selling and move on. If they do have a problem, it's your, your total responsibility as a sales professional to dive deep and get to what we call personal impact, right? Hey, are you struggling with this? in your business yes i am okay great and then we go through the magic eight questions which is tell me more about that can you give me an example and be a little more specific how long has this been a problem what have you tried to do about it did that work how much does this cost you? How do you feel about that? Have you given up trying? And I'll do those eight questions and I will cycle through those for every single pain point that my client has or my prospect has. So I understand truly, yes, this is a very serious problem for them. Yes, it is personally impacting them to the level where they are like, ah, I need to fix this now, 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 now. Once I understand I have one or two major things that I know I can fix with my stuff, what's the next thing? I move into learning their budget. Great. 
based on what you said, Mrs. Client or Mrs. Prospect, you have these two major problems. You spent about this much money. You've tried all these different things. You're really pissed off and frustrated about it and you really want to solve it. Did I get it right? Yes. Awesome. Can we talk about what it's going to take budget wise of time, energy and money to actually solve these problems? Sure. Great. Then we go into the budget conversation and we ask a few questions around those areas. Once we have those dialed in, that should take less than five minutes. We move into the buying process. Once you understand somebody's buying process, then you can actually close any size deal from no matter what it is. So in the buying process, we just want to know who, what, when, where, why, and how they make decisions when they invest in something similar to what you have to offer. And so that's an easy conversation where you could just ask them a bunch of questions around this and you should be able to pull this out within about five minutes. And then we move into the close. The close is simply just a summary of the last three steps. So we understand, hey, Mrs. Prospect, you have this pain and this pain. We understand this is how you could possibly solve it from a budget standpoint. And I understand that it's you and your husband are the main decision makers, but your team is a bunch of influencers. It's gonna take you a couple of days to go talk with those people. And then we're gonna connect again. This makes sense. With all this said, I know I can solve this problem beyond anything else. Is this something you think you can do? Boom closed, right? They're either going to say yes, or they're going to throw out an objection to me in which then I can turn around and I can handle that or answer that. If it's a yes or a no, or maybe so, whatever, I just get a little bit of clarity on that. And then I set my clear future. Clear future is very simple is what is the next step that I need to be taking with this prospect? And also what is the one piece of homework that I'd like them to accomplish before the next time we meet? And this is how I break down my call times. And if you're doing a 45 minute sales call, which I encourage you to stick to, because if you can do something in 60 minutes, I know you can get it done in 45 minutes. And so that's what I do. I set all my sales calls for 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 15 minutes is way too short of a time to really get to the crux of do they have the problem you solve or not. 45 minutes is feasible, it's possible. This is where I feel comfortable personally. Some people can close things faster. Some people take more than one call, but I know that the majority of people in the space that we play in, if you have anywhere from a zero up to about a maybe 25 to $35,000 product, even a $40,000 product can be sold in about 45 minutes. I've seen it done. I've done it myself. And so I know it's possible. So with that said, here's a quick breakdown of each of the steps of our selling system based on 45 minute time block. And so it's important for you to like, look at your selling system, whichever selling system that you're using. And there's a bunch of them out here. This is the one that we have because I've used it to close more than a hundred million dollars in business. I know it works and this is the breakdown. So it's like very quick bonding or rapporting, setting the rules of the game or telling them the agenda for the call, understanding the pain, diving into here's an indicator, you're struggling with this getting all the way down into here's how it's impacting your business. Here's how it's personally impacting somebody. Boom, I got them. When I got personal impact, I'm awesome. Now I'm going to learn the budget it's going to take for them to actually solve that or have the conversation around this. And I understand how they make decisions when I know their problem and I know how they can afford to do time, energy and money, solve it. And I know how they make a decision. I can close any deal of any size. And so that's really the true secret. The, the majority of your sales call should be those three steps, three, four and five in our world. And then of course the close is very quick and simple. It's a single question. That's all you need. And then you just set up when's the next time we're going to connect. And this is how I do a call breakdown for 45 minutes. Now, some people, the question was, again, if you remember Brady asked this, he said, how do I know if my sales calls are going on for too long? What I would say to Brady is I would say, figure out what your selling system is and then take the time that you want to use the calls for, and then break the time down according to the steps inside of your sales system. And then that should give you an approximation of where you should be and you should be able to hold yourself to a calendared schedule. So what I do is I'd write a little note card or a cheat sheet right next to my desk and I would just have the steps like this with the time and then you just can mark like when you start the call and then five minutes in, you should be moving on. This will keep your flow of your call moving at a really great space or a great speed. And then at the end, you already know and you most likely have closed a deal. With that said, you just been tuned up. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. <laughs>